Hi, I'm Richard Fleener, and this is a Legendary Collector Cars TV, Episode 4. Today we are visiting the Walter P. Chrysler Museum just outside Detroit, Michigan. The museum is housed in a newer building that is not as large as the GM Heritage Collection or the Henry Ford Museum, but certainly stands strong for any Mopar enthusiast. The display and arrangement of cars is far more interesting than, say, at the GM Heritage Collection, but not quite as elaborate as in the Henry Ford Museum. However, the Chrysler Museum is equally elaborate in its own right. For instance, the column in the lobby that runs two stories high and supports numerous concept vehicles was a real highlight for me. There are three floors of cars ranging from race cars in the basement to concept cars and really gorgeous examples of production cars on the second floor. There are also some great dioramas and other displays of interest. This wild motorcycle from 2003 was never intended to be driven on the street but it was a styling exercise for designers to express themselves and push the envelope of design. This concept car dates back to the early 50s, but it looks far more stylish and current than many of today's production cars. This Chrysler turbine car from 1963 was one of 55 produced. Believe it or not, these cars were actually loaned out to regular citizens to use as daily drivers. Chrysler wanted to test the technology and design concepts, and what a terrific way to do so. I doubt very much that the legal department of any auto manufacturer would allow such a liability prone market test today. This Chrysler 300 is an absolutely gorgeous example of what the Chrysler letter cars are all about. This 1955 Dodge with its tritone paint and record player under the dash was one of my favorites. The modern open design of the museum with its center column and car platforms hanging from it was a strong and exciting architectural space for the Chrysler collection.
looking more like a Corvette concept than a Mopar, this PPG Indy Pace car is a mid-engine, four-cylinder that could have been a real threat if it had been put into production. The museum has done a very good job of bringing in some of the Chrysler-owned orphan cars, such as the Jeep, AMC, and Hudson brands, into their collection. I hope you've enjoyed your quick tour of the Walter P. Chrysler Museum, and we'll come back for future episodes of Legendary Collector Cars TV.